guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms, and today I'm gonna hop in one of these five pieces of equipment and get some stuff done with it. What you guys' guess? Remember, it's 40 degrees out, and we're done chopping for now. So what does that leave? Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's right, I'm gonna try and hook the beast up. We got the Cat MT865B. We're gonna hook this thing up to the chisel. I'm gonna head up top. I'm gonna head up to uh, Butch's, I should say, and try and hook this thing up. But first, let's check oil and stuff. Alrighty, we'll see it. See if she can do it. It's pretty cold, it hasn't been used in a little while. I'm gonna head up to Butch's to see if it's free and clear that I can hook up to the chisel or ripper, or whatever's up front. Alrighty, so we got disc, then chisel, then deep ripper. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna bring the cat up here to hook onto the disc, but I'm gonna bring something up here to hook onto this disc and then I'll bring the cat up, hook onto the chisel. Alrighty, so I'm back here. I gotta bring the 190 up there to move that disc. So, in order to do that, I gotta put the top link on the hitch back on. And I'll explain that a little bit later, but I'm gonna take the 190 over to the shop and put that top link on. There they are, harvesting over on the hillside there. I'm gonna end with the 190 up on top to go move that disc. Well, that's not supposed to be there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I gotta hook this disc up. It's pretty wobbly. It's gonna be a little bit sketchville, but I should be able to get it. I'm not going anywhere, so I just gotta get it out. So get it hooked up, get the hydraulics hooked up so it raises, and then I'll pull it out. Hey, got this thing. I think I got the right hydraulic hooked up, but we'll find out. Now time to slowly bait, take this thing out of here. Oh, I see a board in the way, never mind. Just gonna do one last quick walk around to make sure all the tires are good. Good for me to pull it out. That's good, 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 good. All the tires are good. Kick this board out of here. I should be good to pull this thing out. We're good on that side. I always say pulling equipment out by yourself, but everyone else is actually doing something productive, so I figure I might as well, so the disc is good to go. Let's pull it out. The cat are all watching me and I'm here like, you guys just got fed. What are you watching me for? There we go. All right, got this thing pulled out. I'm gonna go down, take the other pickup that Nathan left for me. I'm gonna take that and go get the cat. Hi cows, hi cows. You're getting big there, bossy. We're getting almost ready to market. Getting very, very big. Ooh, we putting a cattle guard over there? I think we are. That's pretty cool. I didn't know we were doing stuff like that. For those of you guys who don't know, we're up at our butcher's yard. This is our newest. We built it in 2013. I believe we designed it. Well, obviously with help, but. So this is our newest yard, holds, holds the most. I think it can hold up to like 300 head. So when I say butchers, that's what I'm referring to. Because the old the old owner, Butch McMahon, that's why we call it Butch's. All right, I'm gonna move the quad right now. I'll get that thing into position. That way I can go off, do my own thing, and they can load me up when they just text me when it's loaded. All righty, the quad is in position. So now I gotta walk back. I think I'm good enough where I won't get stuck. Like I'm on solid enough ground. But we will see, only time will tell. So I'll have those guys load me, but I'm gonna go take the cat up to Butch's, hook onto that chisel, pull it out, pull it down here, unfold it, and start working on it until they need me. Also, dinner's coming up soon, so can't forget about that, too. Eh, mud. You guys don't realize how tall it is till you have to climb it in 40 mile an hour winds when it's swaying up over a foot up top. Yeah, it's tall. It's as tall as that, that's as tall as that leg 
as the FAA would make it let us put a leg up without putting a little blinky light up on top for planes. Yeah, it's tall. Ballpark, 120 feet, I think. Something like that. New battery. Let's take the cat up to Butch's. Few angelic paw. Oh. Let's get this thing moving. Oh yeah. It's a two track tractor, guys. We're gonna put some go-go juice in it. Or as I don't know where this came from, but Brian calls it dinosaur bones. I don't know what Nathan's doing with the bean mill truck. She's smoking like a chimney. But apparently we're just gonna go, we're gonna go inside and eat and not eat anything on the go for grandma. Rhonda and Amber or and Renee are at NCYC, so it's just grandma to take care of dinners. So we're gonna try to make it easy on her. So we'll just shut down for a half hour, 45 minutes so we can eat. So I'm gonna put it, fill up with some go-go juice and go eat. All right, Nathan's gonna go dump the quad. I'm gonna go take the cat up to Butch's. And it did not a very good start back there. It went to a dip and the auger hit the pile of corn and corn couldn't go out anywhere. So we broke the shear bolt on the load system. So they gotta get a new shear bolt on that. So that's gonna be another half hour fix. So long story short, I have plenty of time to get that chisel hooked up, I guess, but I uh, can't catch a break. Pat's off delivering bean mill right now. So keep moving. There's the old girl. Let's fire her up and take her up to Butch's. Seat aired up so I'm not sitting on the ground. I love Agco's mounting rail. It's nice. You guys enjoyed those time lapses now i am going to take the chisel home i always fight this garage door hello beautiful can't wait for this thing to get moving all righty they're off combining right now yep I'm fighting these hydraulic lines. Alrighty, I got all the hoses done. Everything's good. Now I got to work air out. So I got the cylinder stops from sitting all throughout the year. I got to raise it up as best as possible so I can get those stops out of there so I can lower it down some. So guys, here's what I got to do to this thing. I have to check these chains back here. See how it's kind of uneven. Some of these chains are wearing out right there so i gotta check these chains go through check all the torque on all the chisel shanks make sure we don't have anything broken make sure they're not worn down check all the air pressures check the check all the bearings check all the bearings and i gotta grease everything so there's grease circs on each hub there's grease circs at every single pivot point so there's every there's a grease circ on every single one of these disc disc gangs there's working on the chisel with the view right now what you call multitasking so as i mentioned before before uh, my battery got shut off i gotta make sure this is the rock this is the rock shaft so basically how this thing this thing lifts up and down it spins along this tube you gotta keep this thing as greased as possible so i gotta go through check all the rock shafts grease all the grease all the wheels check all the springs make sure all the shanks aren't worn down grease the disc gangs and just go overall general pre-season maintenance on this thing Alrighty guys, we're placing bolts in the chain, the drag chain. Brian's second load dumping, my third, my fourth is getting loaded up right now. Curtis just texted me. So I need to find some chain lube that is not dry and then I need to replace these bolts. I'm honestly surprised we have this much hardware here. I've never had to go dig through for hardware before but I just found everything that I needed. Did not think we had that. Alrighty guys, so I'm just put the new hardware on so I, I had one of these break on me last year on the finisher I should this one was on the finisher but I wasn't on this one so that's why I'm going through replacing these in the off season when we don't really need it and I can't get this one for some reason I 
There we are. Took long enough, but that's all I'm doing. I gotta raise this one up though, because it's off level. Perfect, much more level. So now I gotta do those four more times. All the chisel shanks are looking pretty good. None of them are broken, they all have good hardware. They all have good hardware, in case you can hear me on that last one. There's a few that are rounded, but they're all gonna work for now. That's all that I care about. So now I just gotta throw some grease at it and call it good. And I'll fold her up and put her away. Alrighty, now time lapse of me throwing some grease at everything. Hope you guys can see it. Pause. Unpause. Oh, alrighty, it's getting too dark for a time lapse, but all I got left to do this thing is go through each and every grease. There's grease hooks on this, on each and every one of these disc gangs. So I'm gonna go through grease all them, and this thing is done. So I think I'm not gonna show you the guys that. I just gotta do that and then clean this thing up. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hearts on Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now.